today I am making a video on a pretty creation that you can put pans and all that stuff in. So we have this lovely jar from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put the sand in it. So this is real beach sand that I got in Mexico. And then this is sand from Dollar Tree and this is sand you can find at like Target. So I'm going to first test them out because I have no idea what it's going to look like together. So I have to open it though. So I am going to work outside because it is a little messy if you pour it wrong. And I'm using a funnel so I can pour neater. And um, I have sampling cups to sample what colors look good together in case some don't look good together. And I'm just gonna check if any of the sand is scented. This one's a little scented, this pretty purple color. But we're going to first do sampling with just the purple and then this pretty teal. So I'm gonna just pour a little in so I'm not wasting too much. And I am spilling a lot, so that's why I'm working outside. So here's just a little. And then I'm going to pour a little bit of this one. See, it's good to work outside and have a working table. So this is... Let me mix it around and see. This is pretty pretty together. I might need a little more purple since the purple chunks are smaller. But that's pretty. And then I'll do this this teal color. The, this teal is a little chunkier, okay? Than the purple. And then the sand's obviously just regular sand. But I'm gonna put the teal with the sand. And you don't really need any specific type of sampling cups, but um, I just prefer stuff that I'm not gonna really use again since we're putting sand in it. And this actually is really cool. It looks like the beach waves and then sand. So that's cool actually. And then I'm going to do the purple with sand and then we do them all together. And you can do layers and all that stuff. But I'm gonna probably keep it separated. And if you do want layers, you're gonna have to keep them not being shooken up by little siblings. And this one, I don't know if I like it that much, but it just looks like that. I'm not sure if I like it, so I don't think I'll do that one. And I'm not really sure what the all together one will look like, but I'm just gonna try it because it could be beautiful. all these other little chunks in it so it's kind of hard the all together one actually is pretty good it's not one of my favorites so i don't think i'll do it but i think i might do um, i think i'm going to maybe i'll do a little coat of sand at the bottom And seashells are always pretty but so also you can practice with your funnel because it gives you good design so you can put your finger at the bottom and then you pour the sand in and you have your finger so you're not wasting because you can't go to a store and buy more beach sand from Mexico but then you can just put it on one side and it only comes on one side and you can have a different color on the other side and that just makes it easier for helping like design stuff okay so next i think i'm going to do a little bit of blue i don't want too much so i'm going to use the funnel to help control but so this is my masterpiece and i'm just going to do a little okay 
And then I put the rest back in. And the purple is my main color, so I'm just going to dump the rest in of purple. But I'm going to still use the funnel to keep it um, safer so it doesn't squirt everywhere. So I'm just doing it lightly in circles. And once you do it, don't really just go like that to even it out. You kind of have your chance back with only the sand. So if you didn't do it, it's not going to be perfectly even, but that's okay. But with the funnel, you can kind of go around it and get the purple good. So that's the rest of my purple. So I decided I didn't really like the green that much. So I can always make another one and buy some more sand because I have extra blue or the extra teal color. But I really like the purple and the sand. So I did mostly the purple and then a little bit of sand at the bottom if you can see it and it would be really cute to put little pens and that stuff in if you wanted to so with this you don't really like have anything to do and if this sand's not filled up all the way it's kind of weird looking so if you do just want to have sand you might have to buy two packs but you can just stick little pens and pencils in have it at your desk You could put in seashells if you want a beach or theme. So to have a bunch of seashells around it. you can make a little habitat for a little animal to be in and then he just has a little cake thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe see you in my next video